My name is Leonardo Bargigli, I'm an economist. I work at Università Politecnica delle Marche, Ancona, Italy. There are many ways in which the economy has become more interconnected. In the last years, the most important to my view is the interconnection of goods, of the production of goods and trade of goods across the world, which means the coordination of a, a huge network of real flows across many firms over all the globe. Virtually any economic system can be modeled as a network. Uh, the most well-known examples are financial networks, but the most challenging, to my view, is uh, the production of real goods. Also, this could be and should be modeled uh, by network theory in order to have an effective management of these flows. The production of uh, real goods is a network in the sense that you have uh, flows of components, for example, and finished goods flowing either to other companies or to the final consumers. We have um, collected uh, network data uh, on credit networks. They um, uh, represent uh, a couple of entities coded in some, in some way and the quantity which is the credit or debt linking the two, the two entities. This is a um, challenging issue because uh, we need to gain the cooperation of uh, central banks and of international institutions, which is something that we are all very uh, involved in. You have on one side uh, an economist that is thinking about some sort of model, and then he tries to reconcile this model with a given data set. Nobody's really thinking of theorizing out of data or to join very strongly the two sides in a way that you don't introduce arbitrary hypotheses in, your, uh, in the empirical evidence that you have to explain. The main advance has been a way to um, identify highly connected subsets of, of agents within a network. And this can be done with an algorithm which we have been uh, developing in this year. And the main goal of this activity is to um, identify those parts of the network which are more likely to be subject to shocks when uh, any kind of external events come to impact on the network. With these highly connected communities, we can, for example, um, build uh, scenarios uh, in which we have, uh, um, for example, some external shocks like uh, market shocks on the assets of the bank. And then we see how these shocks can propagate to other banks. And, and in this way we see which are um, uh, the most systemically important nodes in, uh, in the network. Mm -hmm.